What's up guys, this is Ruben with NYY News. Oh man, let's talk about this Michael King injury. Brutal, brutal. Fractured elbow out the rest of the year. Looks like uh, what used to be a really huge strength of ours in terms of depth um, has become slowly depleted between having Loisaga not be Loisaga this year and being injured and then Chapman's being crap and then now Michael King is injured um, so I don't know man um, looks like I really think that Cashman has to really uh, think about this season and he needs to make sure that he sets us up for the most success because honestly we can keep planning for the future keep planning for the future but we need to win now so I really think that if we you know Soto is still the move to go for I mean if he can pull off Soto and Castillo finally go for the big fish go for the big move you know you guys you have these guys for um for next year as well um you have soto for two more years um and castillo's only for next year that would put us in a very favorable situation given how it helps our offense it helps our pitching gives us that legit number two um because as we see you know sabrino has been injured too so we don't know if he'll come back if he does come back I, I, I say just put him in the bullpen, um, make our bullpen deeper, and, you know, have him throw gas out of the bullpen, and, and not, you know, stress his arm so much with so many innings. He's already had a big innings jump, as it is, because he, he pitched, I think it was like between the minors and the majors, like 39 innings or 30 innings um, for the last three years. And he already has 86 innings. So if he can, you know, get another 14 innings out of the bullpen, get him to 100, and then, you know, plus the playoffs, that'll be, an, you know, a better way to go about it. But I really do think that we need to go and get um, Luis Castillo and Juan Soto. Or at the very least, um, get Luis Castillo and, and Ian Happ. Um, I don't like to really give up any prospects unless it's prospects that we're really not going to, you know, give a chance to uh, for like one year rentals like Ben Intendi. I do like Ben Intendi. Um, he's hitting 333 against Houston this year. So we just got to get an outfielder, man. And we got to get uh, Luis Castillo. But I really believe that the, the move to go for is. Soto and Castillo, and not just because they're big names, but it's because they're the exact type of bats that we need in pitching. We have the legit number two and the legitimate uh, lefty hitter that we've been looking for for the last 10 plus years. Because Rizzo was supposed to be that complete lefty hitter, and he has not performed in, in that way. You know, uh, I was expecting a more of a bounce back. Uh, from Rizzo in terms of like, okay, he's gonna hit 260 to 70 with the home runs and the doubles Never expected this kind of power of like 40 home runs, but I always knew it was a potential with Yankee Stadium But Rizzo has um, Seemed to alter his approach a little too much to pull um, especially with the ship still so um, We need a complete lefty hitter that hits for average walks strikes out very little and Soto is that bat. There's no other bat like him right now. There's no other lefty or switch hitting bat that that hits like that. So um, it's a bummer that we got that Michael King injury. Um, but at the end of the day, I think we need to focus on the starting rotation with uh, Luis Castillo, getting our um, solidifying our offense at Soto, adding Soto. So that way we can move Rizzo down to the fifth slot behind Stanton and give Stanton some protection there. Um, so I think it, it'll make our, our lineup deeper, makes everybody else look better. 
because it, it, everybody seems to fit in a better role. You know what I mean? And there's not as much pressure because it's more evenly distributed. Because right now our lineup, like f five through nine, six through nine, depending if Glaber's in or not, doesn't look good, man. It, it, it's pretty weak. So we need to really balance out this lineup. There, there's too much. Um, like heavy duty hitters in the top and in the bottom it just really wanes out so even though our bottom of the lineup has won us a few games but we need to balance out the lineup a little bit more make it tougher for the opposing pitching staff but yeah um i still think the moves are castillo and uh soto and then in terms of uh, relief pitching i mean we just really need to get uh Loisaga back to form and he needs to just get get back on it. He needs to get back on it, get the ground balls, get the strikeouts, and we need to maybe you know do what uh, Catchman do one of his you know usual diamonds in the rough and let's get this guy because you know we, we're gonna go ahead and make him into a, a machine like they did with Holmes or with Juan Peralta or with Licky, who you know these guys are all performing with ERAs under three and two, so. Uh, that's my take on the Michael King injury. It sucks, uh, but we need to fix the, the bullpen. A lot of that, I think, we just need to get Loisaga back on track. We're getting Marinaccio back. So let's get Luis Castillo, get Juan Soto, and if we can get a reliever, it'd be nice. Um, but I think Cash is going to have to do one of those things with the you know, diamonds in the rough for the reliever market. Because uh, I think well, most of our chips are, um, you know, without gutting completely the entire system, um, you got to go Castillo and Soto. So, and plus, these guys are going to be in the club for the future. They make us younger. You know, it's not all bad. A lot of times, you know, people are like, oh, you're giving up prospects for guys that are older. Yeah, but these guys are young still. So, they can still give us a chance to, to remain very competitive and keep the window open. And we just got to win in 2022, man. We got to win. We gotta win. It's time to win a, year, a World Series. You can't keep uh, stalling on this. All right, guys. Well, this is Ruben with NYY News. Like, share, subscribe, uh, comment down below, and let me know what you guys think. I really do believe we need to solidify the pitching and and the hitting, um, and and not just because they're big names, but because they're the, exactly the type of talent that we need to complete the lineup and the pitching staff. Juan Soto and Luis Castillo. You guys have a wonderful day.